Inside your body, there is a vast network of blood vessels that if laid end to end, each person's blood vessel could easily wrap twice around the earth. They are an important part of the circulatory system, carrying the equivalent of more than 14,000 litres of blood around your body every day to transport vital nutrition to where they are needed. The average human body contains about 5 litres of blood. Men have slightly more blood than women, so let's look at the ingredient that makes up the red stuff. Red blood cells are dish shaped cells that contain the protein hemoglobin. This enables them to carry oxygen and carbon dioxide around the body. White blood cells are important to the immune system. Some of the cells produce antibodies that defense against bacteria and viruses. Plasma is the liquid part of the blood and is mainly made up of water, salts and enzymes. However, the plasma also transports hormones, proteins, nutrients and a waste around your body. Lastly, there are the platelets. These tiny cells trigger the process that cause the blood to clot, helping to stop any bleeding if you are injured. There are five main types of blood vessels in general. Arteries carry oxygenated blood away from the heart and have special elastic fibres in their walls to help it squeeze along when the muscle relaxes. Arteries then branch off into the arteries, which rises the blood into the, the capillaries. Tiny blood vessels then trans that transport nutrition from the blood to the body tissues via their own thin walls. As well as the nourishing tissue cells, capillaries also removes the waste products passing through now deoxygenized blood onto the new venules. These blood vessels drain blood into the veins, which with help of the valves stop that blood flowing into reverse direction, carrying it back to the heart. In contrast to the other blood vessels in the body, the pulmonary artery takes the deoxygenized blood from the heart to the lungs where it's oxygenized and carried back to the heart via the pulmonary vein. The circulatory system is extremely efficient until you mess it up. Many foods that come from animal sources contain cholesterol, including egg yolks, meat and cheese. If your diet contains too much of this source protein, of protein, then the cholesterol in your, blo in your blood vessels will rise and block them eating healthily, and exercise is the best option. Lastly, arteries carry oxygenated blood that is a dark red colour. Veins carry deoxygenated blood that is in a bluer colour. When you have a slight cut, it is normal, a vein carrying blue blood that you break. So why does the blood come up red? This is because as soon as the blood reaches the air, the blue blood absorbs the oxygen from the air and turns red. Back to the studio.